get out of you know precarious situations really really easy whereas baby bay maybe sliding into something new but as we know baby bay likes his aggression and we're going to be starting off with that here yet again moose not actually having any info of where he is he'll start hopping for lane he'll pick up one as well but now it's a flood onto site and it's only moose as he gets taken down baby bay trying to stem the tide here at stairs as some shock darts come in it's a retake for luminosity as the spike's not down yet as a tin push from both teams but phase is going to be able to work their way into the pit and get the plant down here on b still bleeding players but responding in kind as they're gonna mop up the remaining resistance from lg lg here just looking for these frags mostly want to deal damage to phase's economy as they start to clear through b main going stack inside nebulous down and baby bay out but he'll be the first one gone and dazzle follows up with a beautiful shot from the sheriff he'll take down baby j both the babies gone and phase down to a 5v3 it's only 35 seconds as well as lg had a fantastic read on a and swing things across the map so oh, bringing it left. down. Very low numbers here for FaZe. Not only that, but Tig is gonna oh, hear this man. movement through the oh, arches. Might even be able to get one. There we go! Oh, oh, Tig. As the spike goes down, Koi will respond with two of his own, but now he's completely surrounded. At least an easy job to deal with the market tour. He only had a sliver of HP left on it, but getting further than that, that's going to be FaZe. Keeping them back away from these sites, at least inside of these last two rounds, where they've been able to read FaZe and make sure that they know exactly what's going on across the map, and they do it yet again. The timing, perfect for Dre. He'll move up, claim a life, and immediately dismiss his way back to uh, spawn. So Zachary going down for FaZe here. Only one loss so far. This is a very, very slow procedure for FaZe, which is not something we're used to getting out of them. For the time being, it's working, though. They are incredibly slowly picking up little bits of map control. Only just now that they're finally oh. going to start to encroach into LG's territory. And even that continues to go well for FaZe. Corey picking up one towards Market. They are going to have to deal with the Killjoy oh. utility still deployed deep into the B site. This will funnel them into Moose as he gets the first response here. Will they be able to keep that going? Looks like not as a proto is going to be caught on the rotate. Dazzle and Moose, though, still holding strong inside of the depths of the B site, where now FaZe need to try and hop into oh, the no. The inside of B main won't pan out. They're going to switch it over to Mark, and instead, Corey working his way in, just chucks the showstopper over towards the defender spawn. Unfortunately, not to too much success, and even worse, your boy Dre is going to be able to fend off Corey entirely when he tries to push out onto the B site. We do have the Divide coming out to assist LG here also, so FaZe yet another obstacle to deal with as they push their way in. This time, though, they're able to deal with it. Zachary taking down a proto. It's not long, though, before LG's insight team continues to rip apart this execute. Baby Bay with one more for the attack, but it's a very small gesture at this point. Baby Bay, though, really that one away, puts it all onto himself, taking down da Molly on the ground here. Baby Bay will still be able to get it onto the ground. Can he escape, though, as the cloud burst obscures him only for that slight? A great intel coming in from Dazzle right there to figure out there is going to be some presence on the cat play. Hunter's Fury as well, connecting, oh. and a kill against Baby J. Tig is able to get one on side of the site. I believe a Proto finds an exchange as well after Tig goes down, so that gen position is still going to be secured. This could be the big change, though. Zachary walking to the inside of Garden, unfortunately only for one, so the control phase desperately needed goes away just a second later. It's all gonna come down to Rockus. He's unfortunately still stuck way outside of A main. Hasn't even been able to get into the site yet. Those two shock darts at minimum allow for the dealing with a proto, but now you've got this killer cross to work past. This is so tough. Gets the job done and even has the transition up to Moose. But Moose very much ready for the canopy B. Even possibly Tree. You never really know with this guy. But all you really can know is that there's going to be some aggression inside of this match. And finally, it's FaZe to pop off first. They'll get two big kills. Showstopper out. It's not going to land. Tig will finally fire back. Corey gets one. But oh no. It's all down to Moose. He'll be able to really not do much as Rock many times before. There is a call from LG to actually pull back here away from heaven possibly to suggest it was coming to be but they quickly turn tail on that one and head back towards the site problem is phase has caught this phase has walked right in for free for themselves and they're going to get the plant as a result of that mystery from lg so very well done from phase but now it comes down to the hard part can they win this in the post plant they got all of the lg members off of site didn't have to deal with the utility and now they have the control necessary baby jade had started off zachary with another kill slinging into tree baby bay gonna follow it up as well it's all down to dazzle and raptors he'll at least get one for his pleasure but as you know about the plank coming up into window wait so check the deep corner make sure his teammates are gonna be safe here and now fully commit with the turret gone it's these two players inside of the pit though that have been a constant problem for phase on these b executes let's see if they both can do the job to stop it no they're not going to be able to this time both dazzle and moose only one kill for themselves and the rest of the site over to phase 
and this is what we've been looking to face to do this entire time. They continue to get caught out and around the market and hut area, but this time around, not the case. They get the entries on the site necessary, and they get the spike down as well. Now it's down to LG with a true raid take here to try and win this out. Last round here as well, so it's do or die. Use all of this utility. Use everything you've got in your pockets, and we'll see if it can get done. Dre will at least get it down to a three versus three, so he'll take out Rockus on the box. He's got one down low, but he can't land the flick. Corey to reinforce the swing on lane as all three are stacked, and it's going to be Zach. He torches out because I think we're going to be extinguishing one of these teams here in a second. Is it's going to be a trade in mid to start us off? The Agrelji going to be on the primary site, not worry too much about the side rooms just as of yet. They have the Nebula to cover that, and obviously can just keep all their guns pointed at the upper rafters. If you just seen there, a Proto making quick work to deal with Rockus. At the same time, Faze not going to leave the door closed for very long. It'll get open pretty much immediately. Maybe Jay ready to swing. It'll probably have some support. Unfortunately, the Nano Swarm going to continue to hold him back. That extra utility being brought to the table here by LG really panning out. And they've got the extra player to work with here. In they go as well. LG continuing to frag out everyone from FaZe that tries to peek into this site. Dies a moment or two later. ABJ sneaks in for one, but that'll be due to the bonus buy. They have a lot of scavenged guns from the previous round. FaZe will be full rifle, so a little bit of a difficult challenge here for LG, but they're still prepared for it with a three-man stack outside of Cat. The fourth one ready oh, to put man. some pressure to the inside. A good opening find here as well. Baby Bay just standing in the doorway towards Garden. It's caught as a result of that, and the doorway is swung open for LG to start getting aggressive themselves. Dazzle, even aware of this presence on A main, not able to stop it. The only knocks off half the HP from Zachary, and Zachary's going to continue to cause problems here, believe it or not. He sneaks off a second kill from the inside of A main, puts Faze in an advantageous position. And it was desperately needed at that moment as well. But left. now LG will take on to A. They'll have Raptors control as well as Jen. They know Zachary's inside of Wine, but it's actually a flame from behind. Baby J with one, Baby J with two from Raptors. It was all up to Moose to try and get something done. But he was still holding on to B lobby, seeing what was going to go down. So he's going to have to full sprint across the entire map. He's not going to make it to Tree in time. Zachary waiting for Tree to pop, but Moose get about this a little before he goes in for it. He'll pop the door open, has the sheriff out. It does he check tricked it. It's only Moose out onto site. Trying to play the wall right now is FaZe. Is he more than likely going to try and win this off the entry? It's all down to Baby Bay, though, inside of Boathouse. He'll get taken down, and no members try to move forward into the main area of the B site. So it's going to be the retake now for FaZe. They've been boxed out. Zachary on a nice flank. He'll take down Dazzle, make it a 3v3 in between these two. And now Corey with a moment here something that can be game-changing as they're going to desperately need it for this. This is where the comeback starts, and he'll be able to at least get one. Moose goes down. He'll be able to find the second one pushing the staircase, and now it's a 1v3. Corey will clean it up. It's a 2k for him and a round for FaZe. Solid retake coming out there from FaZe. I think LG was hoping to get a little bit more out of Dazzle's position in the corner over there towards Fish Market as you confidence now. He'll push out. He's going to go past an Aldrone. It doesn't even get spotted by it, though. The Showstopper also here, but that's not oh. going to come out with a win, and unfortunately for Corey, fails to check his top mid so tig as well we'll get another step here this round is so very important right now folks if phase end up winning this lg's back in the hole and phase will more than likely be able to shore that gap even more and dre on the entry will be able to knock this down into a 2v5 make it a 1v5 for baby j and We'll see after longer going to work out the shots come out. And there oh, we go. Man. Perfect timing. Catches Dre moving in with the support from the Al drone. The call on the drone probably coming out too late to react to it. You and should such run. phase get the opening advantage this time. We'll see if it stays that way though, as we've got a big buildup of players from LG trying to work their way out onto the B site. Unfortunately, nano swarms are holding them back, and so is the bullet from Baby J no. and Baby Bay. As two more players from LG are going to fall. Oh, let's make it three as Baby Bay dashes into the site to pretty much seal the deal here everything falls to dazzle now in the 1v4 and as well oh no the operator not gonna finish it off dazzle getting the better of baby may out of that situation those three more players to take down he's retrieved the spike low time as well here this would be incredibly impressive for oh, dazzle no. but he's getting closer and closer there's the fourth the spike plant will go down the rotate from raucous is way too far away even crazier if dazzle needs it he has both shock darts as well as the hunter's fury his opponent's gonna get too close for it though dazzle moving around only five shots left but raucous reads it better I 
one. And a massive amount of intel being exchanged. We are gonna see the Hunter's Fury come out from Dazzle as he's gonna pop some shots up onto the cat push here. For the most part, though, the members of LG able to avoid that. In fact, the proto getting the opening kill versus Corey when he tries to get aggressive. This is a great push from Zachary. However, Moose catches it, only able to go one for one. The plant now going down. Brock is gonna see if he can be the difference maker. Can't stop the plant, but he can potentially kill both. No, only one goes down. Proto will self heal after getting out of that fight himself alive and more importantly keeping LG up one player as Baby J and Baby Bay now have to move in for the retake. Baby Bay up on top here. No vision to work off of. Does see the very top of the safe ponytail but can't make the shot happen. Moose now swings out for main as well. Shuts down the red. Like an entirely different luminosity with the playstyle that they have today. Just so precise when they get those opening engagements. It's an immediate sight take and attempt at a plan and they'll get it done. So we're going to be looking at LG oh, potentially taking control of the opener. This is so unfortunate it for Corey is no choice but to swing it and he knows it'll probably lead to his death too. Rock is now going to respond Five here, down, at least eight. taking down Moose there as the Hunter's Fury was ready to go knew that they had multiple players locked in a main they could capitalize upon that. However the held back playstyle allows for more players to move forward and even worse they had the resurrection ready to go so the player that was down by the Hunter's Fury that's now going to be negated. We still at least have all the Astra Stars and utility to be thrown out here but it won't matter when they're pushing themselves into the open. Baby Bay gets one going with the Bucky is quickly traded out by Tigdo, and that leaves everything down onto Rockus. Difficult position now for Rockus, but he's been here before. Last time it was a 1v4. Fully working their way here through Split, and it looks to be possibly Vents as of right now, but obviously oh. a lot of players around here for FaZe. Baby Bay will one for one himself. Corey now on the contact for Heaven, but oh no, that's going to get walled off, and instead it's going to be a C4 pack out to get rid of that, but it's not going to work out for him. Instead loses his life, and now LG with control of the B site. They'll at least be able to get a spike down, but now it's time to fend off the phase. Retake. planted. Going to see here as well, a little bit extra pressure working its way onto Moose, but won't be too much of a problem for him. He'll be able to sit in the corner. The issue will now come in the form of the fact that this is a very quick retake here from FaZe, but Moose gets his third kill, swinging out aggressively. Baby J will finally be able to punish that. Everything going to be left to Dre here. He's dealing with the turret, trying to not get distracted by it. Getting aggressive, he's swinging all the way towards mid. He'll take down Moose. Nice dash as well, and as you said, the spike down. Painted shells in towards Rom, and it's going to force the remainder of the LG members back as they've lost one of their key members in Moose. Looks like a Proto should be able to sneak up pretty quickly and retake the spike. Not a long-term objective here for FaZe to keep that on the ground. Would be biting off way more than they could potentially chew in that situation, especially having already gained the 5v4. That's what was important to get right there, because now this inside of Ramen as well, and just wait for FaZe to try for something. Left. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to continue to use this timer as they start to push forward in through vents, but they think the time is keen, and it's not. Zachary's still waiting for them to make a move, and the patient's working out here for FaZe as he'll continue to hold on. Not up until Tig makes his presence known inside of heaven. He'll take down one, but Tig with the trade as well as the proto will go down. It's Baby J off the board and the B bomb site completely taken over as Dre will get that spike down. Another very tense post fight situation here. Both the phase members being split up here. As a result of where the LG positions are going to be playing from, Rockus trades out onto one. Already knows where Tig is positioned at as well as he took down his teammate just a moment ago. So he can rush right for the spike. That rotate up towards top, that's really the only thing he has to worry about, which is why he keeps such a close eye on it. Now takes contact right at the doorway and shuts it down. Beautiful 1v2 closeout and all that now dead on the ground. See here, Take potentially lining up another one. Troll now, as Dazzle begin to smoke. He's on to sight. Me Baby Bay at the back end here. He'll take down the Omen ult and start to push forward. Only 20 seconds remain, so this is going to have to be the take now from LG as FaZe are ready for it. Baby Bay will take down one on Rafters. It's going to be the refrags, though, to take down Corey and Baby Bay and full sight left. control yet again for LG. Unfortunately, Zachary not going to be able to make any immediate action happen here, too. Still waiting for Raucus to get into position over towards the garage. So cannot stop that plant from going down onto the ground here. Raucus has arrived, but here's the bad news. He's only got the <laughs> shotgun to play off of along with the classics. Not even a great secondary pistol to play off of here, either. He's very much going to be relying on Zachary to act as cover for him. But it just doesn't pan out. The snake bite goes down, forces at least one what? player into what? the open rockets. Oh. Can possibly stay on top of those money or on top of that money as well as keep their rifles. So working out well right now as they're trying to shore this up within one round right now of tying things as they're focused on the A site.
Maybe May once again, just a tiny little peek, even gets a smidge of damage off on oh. the moose right there. But the real action happening up on the ramp here once again. Raucous in quick work to take down the aggression from Dre. This time FaZe will net themselves with nothing to play off of here in the early round. And they'll get pushed itself even further too as Zachary gets a second going for the defensive side of FaZe here. The rest of LG trying to group up on the outskirts of A, but it seems like FaZe already has a good read on this too. So LG straggling for something to get this round going and to hopefully get them back in fighting shape still try and take it and more importantly tie us up at what would be three to three well, slow work right now for luminosity as they start to work their way up ramp where we saw the initial pick go down for phase Boy, Dre losing his life as well as Tig, who have been two star players so far throughout the day for LG, so they'll be sorely missed inside of round six. Moose attempting to move forward, but Zachary's ready for the swing. It's also going to be the Cosmic Divide out now for the defense of FaZe. They want to take it to LG in the moment, and they will get it. Get aggressive here. The Showstopper coming out from Corey. That will not sing true, but Baby Bay has better luck. Lines up a kill versus one of the most potent members of this roster. Dazzle, though, quickly steps back out from Robin to trade that. At least keep us even after the aggression from phase screen could make things a little bit more difficult than once before but now dre is starting to open things up could possibly get baby bay here as well he does not have a dash he has an updraft he's gonna nice. double updraft over the door beautiful stuff here from baby bay making himself a very difficult target to hit but now a read out from lg they see or are sensing that a is clear they're going to go right through vents but baby bay has already made his rotation he's one kill away from getting that dash back but oh no it's the switcheroo yet again here john they're back towards mid they're flooding mail and it's raucous to try and shut it down he'll at least get one baby j at the back of sight now with a beautiful spot he'll get one can't get the follow-up kill it's traded yet again here as we go into the 1v2 for sides to say to heck with it here i'm just gonna take down the barrier wall try to work my way past it actually some good intel on moose here too the spam is in the correct position oh. but not getting the kill on the initial spam makes him think that it's all clear. It will not be the case. What they can possibly get done. Moose steps on top of the wall. Baby J with a swing from the lower end will take him down. And it's more than likely going to be LG rotating off. And that's exactly what it's going to be. Working towards yes. mid now as Baby Bay's got the cross. He'll take down Tig. And all of a sudden, LG looking worse for wear in round nine. Timing on the push just a little bit off there from LG as there's players move forward. Tig moves forward just a few seconds before his opponent is ready to support on that angle, leading to the loss of the Viper now, as well as only three players are trying to make this push, but now two, as Corey's been able to take one of them out. Proto starts an aggressive push here as he's able to find Raucous, but now they're trapped oh. in the site. They seem to be excelling oh, on that, no. though. Two more kills oh. coming out for them, but Baby Bay shuts it down. Continue that inside of these last two rounds. Round 11 on the dock now. Moose ready for the challenge this time against Baby Bay, but the problem is Baby Bay's support comes out on oh, top here. Corey okay. able to now get himself a second after trading out for the death of his teammate. I now going to try to go for another one here as he picks up the op, but has to fall back very quickly as that first op shot misses. Of course, FaZe does not want to throw away the advantage they've been able to give them. LG questioning what they can possibly get done. Is it going to happen yet again here? Oh no. Two people to the back end. Tig oh with a pickup on to Corey. He's already got the cross set up as he'll take control of screens. Works his way in. Gets those snake bites left. down as Zachary has to hold things down from up top. He'll get the initial pick but can't go much farther. The Viper wall now up and limiting his potential in sight. Rockus with one. Rockus not with two. It's going to be Zachary instead and now it's down to Tig who we saw take control of screens. He He's got Spike with minimal time. Can he get either of these frags? He can't get it done. A very brutal point here. One more round for them. We're looking at 9-3. Oh, and there we go. Oh, for the third time oh. it works, but there's revenge available. Dre leaps himself up into mill. Gets oh. the trade for two kills. The showstopper there. So while he does go down to Baby J, he's also going to take Baby J out in the postmortem. A 3v2 situation is what we'll evolve into here now. As well, LG going to swarm onto the B site and get their plant going for themselves. Now that right there is looking like Dre from Ascent. I, I don't know really what happened in between these two maps, but he's fine. He's back. He's at the keyboard. Just had to, you know, move the little brother away and get back in. But now it's a retake for FaZe here in this two versus three. Raucous moving out first, but we know this Viper's Pit is already down. They're going to be having to play this quite close quarters. Take knows that more than likely someone will be favoring the box, but Zachary actually favoring the back of sight. Raucous flies in. Zachary with one, but now it's a one versus two, and both of these members are inside of 
of the pit, making it easy for your LG and what they were capable of. But now it's phased with the shoe on the other foot. And speaking of that, it's going to be the same for the engagements as well as Tig will take down Baby Bay this time. But oh no, it's actually going to be Rock as he works his way to the back. Tig gets aggressive yet again. He'll take down yet another. But finally, the refrags come through. LG with some frags. A proto with two. Phase finally taking him down as Corey will go for two as well. It's a 1v2 for him with no spike control. The spike is down at the bottom of Raptors. He can't get oh. the first kill. Cure. We're used to the aggressive plays. Will Baby Bay go for it yet again? Oh, he doing will. It. Gets over the ice wall. Gets your boy Dre as well. Steals the words right out of my mouth. Was not ready for that peak. And now Baby Bay. Surging forward onto ramp. Can he get the second one? Dips under Tig's bullets, and they're making it work. But Dazzle with three. Oh Baby Bay finally gets the refrag. It's a one versus two. A proto with one. He can't follow. Targets open up the same type of advantage and brute force their way on the site. Look at this movement. Oh, Baby Bay just hops right in through the heaven window. Disgusting. Takes out Dazzle. Going to be a trade coming out here from Moose. Tig was seemingly ready for players to hop into his smoke as well, but never mind. Zachary gains the advantage and dead and now Corey is cutting off the rotates as the stragglers from LG are on their way from the B site. Incredible, incredible stuff here for FaZe. They'll get the entry necessary as Baby Bay has some magic inside his hands inside of this split at a minimum. I think we're going to be seeing that after what we saw on Ascent, but he's doubled down and he's making it work. And now the frag's coming through for FaZe yet again. They're going to take down most of the members, leaning it all down to a proto. We'll at least get a solid read on one of the members inside of screen, but Corey with a beautiful shot from the Sheriff will take him down. That type of playstyle here, the lockdown already on the ground as well. We are going to see lines in the way here to try and stop them from moving forward, but it's not going to stop anything at all. Baby Bay already out. A proto, though, once again... Finding at least one tree, but he's going to get locked down here and put in the painting. I'm going to see this a little bit confusing for a moment. FaZe pushing even deeper into the site. A proto is actually allowed to survive his containment back in the corner of the site. FaZe here. That control very, very tepidly now taken on B. They still have to retrieve the spike. That's where the issue will come in. Because they allowed a proto to stay alive and didn't realize he was locked down, they still have to deal with him. But thankfully, it's quick work. Proto goes down on oh. first contact. What a shot from Dre, though. Beautiful response. From phase, the aggression comes out. Not in the same sense we saw the last time where we saw the lanes getting split up from the Viper walls. But now it's going to be Corey this time around. He'll take down two. Still has the paint shells as well as we'll throw them into the back of heaven. But now LG onto the retake. This ice wall going to assist them with at least getting some possible control on the rafters area. But actually, no. Broken up here on this side. He's not even able to take down Baby Bay, who swings in from rafters. It's all down to Dazzle, working right outside of the map. <laughs> Baby Bay <laughs> Baby Bay is making sure that his uh, his keyboard works, folks, in case you were wondering. And Corey, checking the, just checking well, his gun works. <laughs> so, <laughs> and As everybody's jumping in on the fun now. Either way, phase 29, John. So we could see some semblance of power be brought back out, but for now, only Dazzle has his. And once again, Baby Bay wasting no time. Leaps right in with the support right behind him from Corey. Both of them find entries. The B site within seconds now under the control of our attackers. And Baby Bay not even satisfied with that. He wants to go for spawn. He throws the vandal out on the ground. No. Take it. I don't need it. I've got it. Okay, well, that's a bit embarrassing. But either way, a proto shuts him down. That will give a gun over to our defenders. But it seems so oh, far man. gone at this point. Will it even matter? Guys, I woke up today and I was like, man, I get to cast Baby Bay today. It's going to be a fun day. That first map, we really didn't get to see what we wanted from FaZe and really this matchup overall, but we're definitely... Matchup, yes. What's up? Is that? Oh you see this goodness. mid stack? Oh yes. man, Baby J, and it's going to be a trade out in favor of Luminosity. Rockus will at least be able to get the spike back. It's starting off earlier, John. I'm sorry, the analysis does not matter because everyone's dying. Zachary with two, and now it's a two versus two in between these two teams. A proto trying to shore it up. He won't be able to win it out against will Begin to rotate towards B, having that all clear come out here. Moose just a single oh. HP as well. We didn't even mention another member of LG that has yet to be dealt with. Um, we do have Tig oh. hiding out. No one's checked him yet. He's only got a ghost, but that's enough. Drops the spike. No way. Back. He's got teammate support from Dre as he's pushed through market as well, so that'll overwhelm Rockus in a one-for-one -one exchange. Phase are moving in. They're going to go for a bit of a chaotic plant here inside of a cloud burst. It's the only part of this site they actually know for a fact oh, they can 
control of Dazzle steals away the life of Baby Bay and leaves only Cory alive here as a Proto picks up another one as well. Cory's holding on though. He's brought it back down to a 1v1. Simply has to outwit Dre here in order to secure this round, which to be fair, LG had no business making this close to begin oh, with. Oh man. They've done it anyway. The Corey, timing. Healing with the hand he's been dealt. Corey reading into it. He's got an exact read on the Dre's position. Knows oh. for sure. Play towards. It would be even easier when you consider they already had a huge modicum of success on their opening aggression. Things are going to slow down a little bit this time. However, the gravity well coming out for the defenders. And not only just that, but your boy Dre holding a solid position. Able to get two kills going. A proto as a third in here. Exchanges are coming out though from phase. Possibly not enough. Rock is going to be left as the last players here than what we have traditionally seen in the past four rounds from them. And much more direct going on to the site. They may have just caught a very important piece of intel, though. This is a big shift over towards the A site. If they caught intel on to the B site to suggest there may be a player or two too many here, they'd be right in assuming so, as the A site is open for the taking right now. Dazzle going to at least be able to respond with oh. some damage, and more importantly, a kill against Zachary by using the Hunter's Fury. But now comes the issue. Phase are more than set up on that A site. LG have to frag their way back in. A good start, though, is not only do they have the kill coming from the Hunter's Fury, they've got Seekers to work their way back in with a Showstopper, which the Seekers will be pointing a target out, hopefully, for you, boy, Dre, here. Moose, as well, succeeding on just the normal re-entry targets here. He picks up a one-for-one. One. Corey, one of the few stragglers left, and now Baby Bay as well, coming in on the late flank, trying to catch these members of LG on the back Thanks. foot, but it won't happen. It's an incredibly proficient retake from LG, and to be fair, using a lot of ults to get it starts and ends, I believe, with less than 10 seconds of total playtime. A lot of utility being thrown out from both sides here. Baby Bay with an angle against a Proto, but again, the Proto continuing to hold on in that A-site position. Raucus now bringing out his own Hunter's Fury, as we saw the defenders used a little earlier on. Raucus succeeds in picking up at least one target from it. Corey pushes in through mid to get another, and Raucus continues to tear players apart with his position, I believe, closer to showers at Brooks. Excuse me, from mid. Finds two players there. Oh. Now it's just going to be Moose left alive. He finally trades on to Raucus. We are going to see the Trailblazer going out. That'll give them advanced intel as to where Corey is positioned. I thought of the 1v1 here as well. Not really much else you could do. The Trailblazer will just be thrown into Corey's face. Hey, it slows him down for a second or two as well as he tries to proceed back over here towards Garden. Now, it's just a game of whether Moose can successfully find the position of Corey here. He's already used the... Trailblazer itself still is going to have oh the capability no. to use the Guiding Light, but he ends up flashing himself there. That's going to much out in the open. I'll be wrong to assume that, though, is maybe they're going to hop through Portal. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but it might have just saved their life as your boy Dre sitting on the corner here, ready for the challenge. Needs to stop the slaughter that's going on in the mid site. though. Zachary able to get away with two. Corey Showstopper, though, puts FaZe into a great position as they bring it down to a 2v1 here and leaves Dazzle alone. Still on the rotate from B, but at the same time, with no spike down on the ground, he will have a moment of opportunity where this will be condensed down to a 1v1, potentially take that target out and with proper positioning, maybe even leverage it into a quick double kill here. Who's his way out? Dodging the extra damage that would have potentially come from Baby J had he been a little bit less secure with his positioning. He's got to be so careful here, though. Now, however, given an opportunity once again to try and catch the phase members. Phase decides is a little bit too hot on the inside of this site. They jump into the portal, head over towards B instead. Now they have the predictability. They know Dazzle's come through the portal as well. They know he's going to be right behind them. And Huka is off the Dazzle to get out. Opponents know everything about his potential playstyle here. He's got to make these headshots happen. He's got to take control of sites. But now Faye's not going to have that back down to the aggressive plays and utility usage that we're used to. Corey already moving forward inside of Hookah. Baby Bay prioritizing elbow, but it's going to be Corey with the initial pick. He'll take down Moose inside of CT. Pig, though, with the move. He'll be able to take down Corey and Hookah. And while well, this opens things up, the positioning now for Faye's is not guaranteed. And while well, the spike's still going to go down, now they're ready for war. It's a three versus four as the wall's going to go down as well. Yeah. Faze keep trying to move their positioning further out onto the site, but they keep losing more and more players, only serving the opposite Player effect. Dead. They end up with less room instead of more here, and we can see it all crunching down on them. A Proto and Tig with the final two kills there. Nets them a quick retake, and a four to five can be as successful anymore. LG are taking up aggressive positions on their own regard, and as well, giving us some great ability usage in order to stop more straightforward plays like we're seeing there from FaZe, trying to brute force their way out through A mid. Huntress Fury pushes it back and more importantly, takes down Baby J, removing the flash utility for pretty much all of FaZe here. Going to leave it on. Movement-centric characters here. There you go. 
Baby Bay taking up the position just outside of the lamps. They're able to punish some of the aggression we're seeing from LG to get back into this site, holding the outskirts of the Cosmic Divide is seemingly all Faith need to win this as every single member of LG tries to push through and challenges it. On the B site, Dazzle though seemingly prepared. He'll at least get one. He's actually going to get it with the Shock Dart as he is indeed tagged up. But now Rockus will get the spike planted. Moose as well as the remainder of LG still pressuring forward. Your boy Dre will take down him himself with the rocket from the showstopper and that's going to be all she wrote as moose cleans up raucous lg get their round it was like it's a little bit of a self-immolation here but better than letting <laughs> him killing me i guess now folks it is absolutely absurd the amount of things that are just stacked around this area three stars right now inside his short baby bay out he'll be able to get the first one he's gonna be sitting on sight box here able to get a cloud burst out towards you hall but it's gonna be raucous to try and fire through with the hunter's fury but this time around it's not going to land for phase luminosity trying to surge back but it's gonna be moose from inside a cubby to take down two a proto starting to move forward through you hall it's gonna be moose who swings off a cubby he'll get taken down though a proto refrags four bench. It's going to be the ult out now for Baby J inside of the one versus two. He knows where one is. He'll be able to claim it as well as I believe he has Spike indeed. Yes. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one for Baby J going into the last minute. Beautifully played there from Baby J getting the ultimate out. He's also going to throw out the stun just in case there was a very early rotate from a proto. There's not. Oh. Look at Baby J. He wants to fight. There's 45 seconds left here. His opponent, a proto, has no clue how to Let's react go. to this. Just try and try and play out of camera out as well as a wire catch here as Baby Bay tries to get aggressive, but it's going to be Corey that solves the problem here with they keep Dazzle over towards A to see if he can get anyone trying to rotate. It's a great switch, but they need to get into B quickly enough here to fend off the additional rotates that were already heading from B after they aggressively pushed towards market earlier. Seems they've reached it with an appropriate amount of time. As you said, Dazzle sticking around. Took him a minute to line up the shots, but he indeed does catch one member of FaZe rotating. Your boy Dre going to be able to contain Elbow as well, knocking out Zachary as he tries to round the corner on that. Baby Bay recompleting the flank from Fountain also falters to Moose. So it's all on the Baby J, who of all these players was allowed to walk right in through the defender spawn main door of all these places. Uh, problem though, as I'm sure you guys might be able to tell by this point, he has no real capability to get on that spike and start the counter to few sides. Zachary, a real attempt just made just yet. Gonna be free control here for LG. They haven't put the spike down as the showstopper will come out. He's slow moving, but now the kills start to come through and the aggression more than likely to ensue. Spike plant down. It's a three versus three as they both lose members, but Zachary pushing it even farther before he loses his own life. It's down to Moose to try and hold them back with just the Sheriff. It's the Spectre out up against Baby Bay. Cloud Burst and a spam, but not able to get it done. Only one round left inside of that pistol as well in Baby Bay with some solid positioning. In the first minute, or so of the round here some cause for concern given what the playstyle's been up until this point phase is actually just going to bring out their hunter fury rock is throwing it out it actually does connect shots onto both dazzle and your boy dre who will now be finished off by baby bay attempting to push out from the showers here the flood is in daiquiri with a beautiful double for himself there might have just sealed the deal because baby j and baby bay are now on the site ready to fill off i might have actually gone for the pull there but the opportunity his opponent jumps away. And meanwhile, though, while they've been distracted by the action and showers, oh my okay, god, Zachary just tears the heads off of three separate players. It was looking like they had lost control because they were too distracted by showers, but Zachary quickly correct force here for the phase roster and now shut him up at least once can he get the follow through he can Corey just does not have the movement to get away from Zachary. the arrows and now zachary with the triple can he get the quad he's looking for it low ammo capacity now but oh no finally shut down it's up to baby bay to try and slow things up but he's already got assistance and the likes of raucous already an arrow down as well but countered by the cloud burst these little intricate plays coming out from phase to take it to luminosity an updraft here with the knives out but baby j can't can't get it done. It's going to be Raucous on the other end, though. And Tig now motioning forward through the Nebula. Fault line out. He'll be still inside of the Nebula with some very safe positioning. And indeed, he pops another one. So he can continue to play around this smoke and on top of the spike. Has to motion around triple box, though. He has a lineup for two. These gunfights, and he's seemingly always in the proper position to make the most of the situation. And FaZe go aggressive on B-Long again here, right from guard. And they swing out. Corey will get traded, but not before he takes down two men and very important ones at that. Only Moose now to really try and find them some intel unless they can get something done here with a proto for the offense. A proto gets one. Baby J with a beautiful shot from Elbow. He'll take down Moose who has a spike as well. And it's five in this matchup.
Very unfortunate round there for FaZe as Baby J ends up dealing quite a bit of damage and actually ends up killing Baby Bay in the initial moments there. Baby Bay, we're used to his aggressive operator plays. He starts inside a shower. He, he burns the tailwind very early there to get out of that position, then tries to go forward inside of short. And we saw what happened there with the aftershock. The Rolling Thunder committed as well. And that simply just did not phase. It's going to take a while to burn that down. And all throughout the process, they have to keep their own oh. oil. And look at this aggression coming out. It's like Zachary again with the double. Your boy Dre is able to save himself. But what a push there from Rock is baby no. bang.